blocking the road here. What's going on here? You're kind of getting rough with him there. Yes, I'm hurting. What's that? Hurting. What do you do? Why did you just throw him like that? <laughs> What's that? I'm back. I'll stay back. You're good. Yeah. You all right, buddy? He didn't hurt you, did he? Yeah, he did, actually. He did? He was kind of rough there. What's he harassing you for? Okay. Well, I just, he's blocking the road. I'd like to get through here, and I, I don't like him throwing you around like that. Well, I was walking by. And... I just got to stay back so he doesn't fritz here. But I'll keep an eye on you. Did he tear your pants? Did he tear your pants? Yes. Alright, here I'm gonna move my truck. I'll watch you here for a minute, okay? Just to make sure he doesn't abuse you any further. So I pull up. Officer's here talking to this guy. Blocking the whole road. And then he just, uh... <laughs> throws him on the ground. The guy wasn't doing anything but stumbling and staggering a little. I don't know what the guy's trouble is, but, uh... As usual, these officers think they gotta be as heavy handed as possible. So frustrating. No reason for it. What's going on here? Uh, he's a mental health patient. Escaped from the hospital. So you just threw him on the ground because he's a mental. Did, did you seriously just throw a, a disabled person on the ground? No. There's a phone commands. I'm not threatening you at all. You, why did you throw him on the ground? I want an answer to that. Mr. Simon, I'm not going to talk to you. You're not going to talk to me. I have to take this young man to the hospital. So, because you just threw him on the ground? Is that why? Step back, Mr. Simon. Am I breaking a law? You're blocking the road, I know that. Quit tr trying to order me around. I have my overhead lights on. You're blocking a public road. <laughs> It'd be great if you were helping the guy, but you just threw him on the ground, man. Not cool, not acceptable. You need to treat people with respect. You know, tough guys everywhere. So it's a mental health patient. He needs to take him back to the hospital. That's why he grabs him. Is this how you treat someone that's hurting folks? Is this how you treat someone that needs help? We throw him on the ground. I don't know if the camera caught him being thrown on the ground because his car was kind of in the way. And I didn't, I didn't necessarily expect that at that point. So I'm watching, he's right here. And it makes sense that the guy maybe has a, is a mental health patient because he was kind of walking weird. He was kind of like he was staggering and uncertain. Um, and uh, it, it looked like maybe he had a problem. Maybe he wasn't understanding what was going on. And we've seen this over and over again, right? We see police murder people that have mental problems or that are, or, or that are sick or things like that. And so this, this afraid of police thug just throws the guy on the ground. I watched him do it. I watched him grab him and the guy goes flying on the ground. Why do you, why would you treat somebody like that? Would you treat your neighbor like that if they were hurting? Would you treat your, would you treat your children like that if they were hurting? Where's the love for our neighbor? Where's the respect for our fellow man? Why does afraid of police think that they can abuse disabled people? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Is that what we call serving and protecting now? We need real public servants, folks. We need people that love their neighbor. We need to start holding them accountable. And we need to stand our ground when they try to be bullies.